start with, apply a light eyeshadow all over your eye and up into your brow bone. I'll be using uh, Matte Loose Powder by Masquerade in light shades. I'll be applying that with an Eco Tools airbrush concealer brush. So I'll pick some of that product up and work it over your eye. I'll be using the Paranormal palette and I'm going to come in with the color Aura which is the orange right here. I'm going to be picking that up with my Eco Tools brush. It's just a thin tapered blending brush. I'm going to work that orange into the crease of my brow, into the crease of my eye, sorry. Come in with a dark brown eyeshadow. I'll be using Masquerade's eyeshadow in N47. It's a super dark chocolatey brown. It's beautiful. And I'm going to be applying that with the same brush, the Eco Tools Tapered Blending Brush. You're going to apply that to the last third of your eye. This is just going to be for a bit of definition and also to really define your cut crease. So you're going to pop it on the last third here. Don't bring it all the way across. Just blend it out here. It's time to make our top lid really stand out so the cut crease is very defined. I'm going to come in with my Masquerade Luminizing Loose Powder in Moon. I'll be picking that up with my Eco Tools Airbrush Concealer Brush. And I'm going to just gently pop that all over my top eyelid. This is really going to create definition and come right into the corner here and highlight that area. apply a nice black coal eyeliner to your top lash line. We're going to be doing a winged liquid eyeliner here. You can use liquid or gel, whatever suits you. I forgot to mention I'm using an NYX eyebrow pencil in black and I'll be using the Face of Australia liquid eyeliner in black as well to do my eyes today. So now I'll just wing it out with my liquid eyeliner. Now for the fun part, to really create that great looking cut crease and almost double wing, come in with a Q-tip. I've got a little bit of foundation on the end here, my um, Skin Base Foundation by Illamasqua. And come in on top of the wing and we're going to wipe out. Once you've created that double wing, you can set it a little bit with some loose powder. I'm just going to use my Luminizing Loose Powder by Masquerade that I used all over my lid. Now to really make this look dramatic, we are going to use Illa Masqueras Precision Ink in Scribe, which is pure white. And we are going to line on top of the black that we've already done. So what you're going to have to do is, once you've lined with the white over this black, you'll have to come back in with your black liquid eyeliner because naturally you're going to have some white that's come down onto it and neaten up. So follow the black of... Well, so follow the line that you've already created. So you can see there's just a few little bits that I have to neaten up with my black liquid eyeliner. So come in and do that when you've finished applying your white. Now that's left is to apply lashings of your favourite mascara. I will be using Illa Masquer's Mascara in Raven. And just pop that all over your top lashes, leaving your bottom lashes nice and clean. And here you have it. I forgot to mention you should probably line the inner rim of your eye with white eyeliner and just highlight the corner with some luminizing powder. But as you can see, this is a really dramatic and fun look. Um, there's not, it's actually not that hard. Practice makes perfect, but just follow the steps that I showed you and you should be fine. Um, and it's also a great way to use your paranormal palette. So as you can see, that beautiful orange color from the palette mixes perfectly with the brown. It's just seamless. It's a fantastic palette. I love Scribe Precision Ink because it is so white. It is pure white. You just got to let it dry and it dries perfectly. And of course, the mascara is fantastic. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Subscribe if you enjoyed this. Let me know how you go if you give it a, a whirl and tell me if you like it or not. Um, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye.